This is part two of a multi-part process for how to implement a search-based site directory. In this segment, we're going to create a custom list from the custom content type that we created in the last segment. So if you haven't seen that part, check it out. What we have now is our custom content type has been syndicated to our site collections. So now we're going to create a custom list and we're going to base that custom list on our content type. This is actually really easy. It's just that the controls are sort of hidden in SharePoint. So if you haven't done it before, once you've done it once or twice, it'll become fairly automatic for you. We're going to create a custom list, and then we're going to change the associated content type to our custom content type, and then I'll show you how it changes the data entry experience for the list. But all of the managed metadata wiring will be in place for us. Then we'll wait for SharePoint to crawl it, and we'll be able to search for our content types. It's actually very, very cool once you get to this point. So in the previous module, we went ahead and created a custom content type. And so if I go to my site content types and I choose my enterprise content types, I'll see my custom content type listed with my site catalog item. Now what I'm going to do is create a new list. This is where we're going to store the information about the site. Choose New App, and from here I'm going to choose Custom List. And this is going to be our site site information. We'll choose Create. Now, when you create a custom list like I just did here for site information, the list is automatically associated with the item content type. So you'll notice it has title, modified, created, and modified by. I don't want that item. I want to change it to use my custom item. So I go into advanced settings and I tell SharePoint, hey, allow me to manage the content types on this list. So now if I come down and choose OK, it's going to show me a new section called content types. And this is where I see the item content type. I should also point out that when you go to the site information um, list and you choose to add a new one, it's going to add a standard SharePoint list item, which is just title and the option for attachments. We don't want that. We want our content type. If you're in classic SharePoint mode, the user interface is similar in that when I go to the Items tab and I choose New Item, it shows me just the item for the list. So we're going to fix all of that very simply by going back into List Settings. And down here under Content Types, I'm going to add from existing site content types. And since our content type is syndicated to this list, I can come up here and choose Enterprise Content Types find my site catalog item, choose OK. And now I have two items, two content types associated with this list. Of course, this isn't ideal, but I want to show you step by step what's going on. Now, if I go to the items tab, I'll see site catalog item and item. So let's remove the item from this list. So we go back to list settings. We choose the item and we choose delete this content type. Now we are deleting this content type from the associated list. We're not deleting the site content type. So now under site information, I have just the site catalog item. So let's do one last little fix up here. Let's just put a space into our list name. And now we're all ready to go. So here are all of our columns that we identified during our requirements phase. And so I can go back to site information now. And I can enter a new item. If I go to the items menu, as I showed you before, it just has site catalog item. And so the title of this site, this one happens to be the search demo site.
you'll notice that our manage metadata is wired up. So in this case, we're going to choose charity because I'm doing this demo for free. And we need a site logo and a link to the site. Now, in this case, the link to the site is simply going to be the link to the home page of the site. So we could simply choose the URL to this site, and that would be satisfactory. The reason I use this particular field is because I like to have an option for how my users get to or what they see in a preview. But like I said, you'll see that in a later demo. Confidential? Nope, this isn't confidential. In fact, our security level is low. And our site classification is demonstration. So our content type is working, but let's come back and address this site logo idea. So I'm going to save this item. And what I wanted to have in my site information list or in my site classification, so I wanted each site to be able to have their own logo and not necessarily just use this default SharePoint logo. So in this case, what I'm going to do is go back to site contents. I'm going to go into site assets. And right now there's a team notebook in there. I'm going to use this to store my logo. For fun, we'll just go ahead and use a red icon. And that's really all there is to it. Now that I have the information in the site information list, we just have to wait for SharePoint to crawl it. OK, so a few minutes have passed. And what I want to do now is search for my content type. So now that I have some info in there, I'm going to search everything. And we'll search for content type contains site catalog item. And what I'm hoping to see is my search demo site item. Now, this is just the beginning, but you'll notice that it did find our search demo site item from that list. And that's what we were searching for. That's what we wanted to be able to find. Now that we've got the content type detected, we're off to the races and we can get on with the rest of our project. So we've done it. The first step, was to create the custom content type and syndicate it to our site collections. The second step is to create the custom list based on that content type. The next step is to start building out the search experience because now that we're finding that content, we can start building out the search experience using managed properties, a custom vertical, result sources, and result types. This is where it starts to get fun. Join me.